Top story we're following, eight accused thieves arrested in Operation Loot and Scoot. Just hours ago, the sheriff's office announced the results of a two-year-long investigation of what police describe as an organized crime ring. They say the ringleader would recruit shoplifters to steal for him at stores like Walmart, Target, and Winn-Dixie, then sell the stolen goods online. The sheriff says this ring operated here in Jacksonville, but also in Orlando, Tallahassee, St. Mary's, Georgia, and points in between. News 4 Jacks reporter Eric Avignier is joining us live. Eric, what did police say about the possibility of more arrests? Well, the sheriff says there could be more arrests made because they are investigating an additional 300 cases of theft that they believe are related to this organized crime ring. Now, as you can see, we're outside of a Walmart because this is one of the major store chains that was targeted. So far, they, authorities believe an estimated dollars worth of merchandise was stolen. Now, investigators say uh, the ringleader in this organized crime unit was Anton Arbaji. He's accused of selling an estimated $300,000 worth of stolen items online. When detectives showed up at his house with a search warrant, they say they found $53,000 worth of stolen merchandise along with more than $11,000 in cash. Sheriff Mike Williams says Arbaji had lots of help. And he would recruit shoplifters to steal specific items, and he would pay them uh, anywhere from $10 an item to, or 20% of what they brought in. Now, seven other people, including a mother-daughter duo, are also facing charges. And according to authorities, some of those suspects could face life in prison if convicted. Also, there's a chance that federal charges could be uh, filed against these suspects. That's because Sheriff Mike Williams says that uh, some of the stolen items were sold across the line and possibly overseas. Reporting live, Eric Gavinier, Channel 4, The Local Station.